Hello friends. Aqua Regia is composed of two chemical substances with a ratio of one nitric acid, three hydrochloric acid mixed together. The ratio between gold alloy and acid Aqua Regia is 50 grams gold alloy to 200 milliliters of acid Aqua Regia. From my experiment, when gold alloy was made into a solution at a temperature of 90 degrees Celsius to reach saturation point. In some cases, if gold is mixed evenly in the alloy and at a low enough concentration, you can use plain nitric acid to dissolve away impurities. However, if the gold is more pure or is an external plating, what actually happens is that the nitric acid tries to dissolve everything but the gold blocks it from coming through. In that case, you purify an outer layer, but the internal layers are not pure because they are protected by an insoluble layer of gold. To fix this, we can add hydrochloric acid to the nitric acid, so the gold is all dissolved, and then selectively pre precipitate out the gold. Use sodium metabisulfate to precipitate gold out of the aqua regia solution. You will get a gold sludge powder that looks like mud. Sodium metabisulfate, also known as sodium bisulfate, is an affordable and effective selective precipitant for gold. The chemical can recover up to 99.95% of pure gold when the precipitated gold is thoroughly rinsed. It works well even at room temperature. I will show you the amazing change of gold mud. Use sodium mixed with water slowly added to the gold solution. You will see the formation of gold mud. Precipitated gold particles vary in size, but tend to be small and float easily in the rinsed water. For this reason, special care must be taken to avoid accidentally pouring off gold with the rinse water. Use hot water to clean the sludge powder that looks like mud three to five times, or without sodium metabisulfate. Boil the gold mud and hydrochloric acid to 90 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes. Use hot water to clean the sludge powder that looks like mud three to five times with hot water. You will get gold sludge powder. Make dry using low heat to avoid splashes. How to melt gold into cubes. Sprinkle a little, a little borax powder before and after melting for the perfect melting technique. There are many methods for melting gold into cubes. Using induction heater, melting gold into cubes will be fast and convenient. Or you may use a butane gas flamethrower burner. You may need to be careful of splashes of gold powder while using. I hope you like our videos. Please apply for membership and share our videos to cheer. Thank you very much.
Hello friends, today I will show you how to scrap gold recovery pins. Gold is usually located at the junction of electronics. Keep in mind that outdated electronics are likelier to produce parts with a high enough level of gold to make the procedure worthwhile to recycle gold from the computer PC scrap and electronics equipment. You may find mined gold from old electronics in your home. Gold stripping solution chemicals. Gold stripping solution chemicals consist of 15 grams of gold stripping mixed with 15 grams of sodium cyanide or potassium cyanide and one liter of water to dissolve 15 to 25 grams of gold. Operational safety. Prudent execution of experiments requires not only sound judgment and an accurate assessment of the risks involved in the laboratory, but also the selection of appropriate work practices to reduce risk and protect the health and safety as well as the public and the environment. You should wear protective chemical clothing such as gloves, protective eyewear, a mask, a long sleeved shirt and long pants. Take precautions to avoid exposure by contact with skin and eyes, inhalation and ingestion. Proper ventilation is required as this precipitant has a very strong pungent acid odour and is corrosive. The key is to keep it far away from communities and pets. I precipitated gold from the solution of gold stripping solution chemicals with zinc powder using potassium hydroxide as a catalyst for gold to adhere to zinc powder. Then separated the gold from zinc powder by using nitric acid mixed with water at a ratio of 1 to 2. You will be left with gold sediment. After the zinc powder has been completely dissolved you will receive gold precipitate. Rinse and clean with hot water three times. When you have finished stripping the gold, you will have enough gold powder once dry you can forge gold with. At 90 to 95% gold purity. If you want 24 karat gold purity, use aqua regia to dissolve the gold.
How to melt gold into cubes. Sprinkle a little, a little borax powder before and after melting for the perfect melting technique. There are many methods for melting gold into cubes. Using induction heater, melting gold into cubes will be fast and convenient. Or you may use a butane gas flamethrower burner. You may need to be careful of splashes of gold powder while using. I hope you like our videos. Please apply for membership and share our videos to cheer. Thank you very much.